Becky's and Dice Beans, welcome on in. It is it is an interesting time. Uh, we are so excited that you're here. Happy Pride, everyone. Uh, this is this is us. It is David and I, and we are here with a very special guest today, uh, an incredible person who is doing some incredible things, and we're fortunate enough to have him doing incredible stuff on our channel. So, uh, David, who the heck is you, and what the heck is we doing here? Oh, and also, thank you, the transmissions for the raid. Thank you so much. David, you are muted. What? Are you? Well, you are doing a great job. David got a new microphone, y'all. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Hey, Ilaria. You are doing a really great job. You were, yeah. Yep. Let's try this again. Can David be heard? Can I be perceived as a person? Does he feel uh -huh. <laughs> Um, I don't know when I started saying ear balls, it's terrible and I hate it. Okay, David, who the <laughs> heck is you and what the heck is we doing here? To, to repeat the excellent joke that I said, but louder this time, I am not the person who decided to lay people off on the first work day of Pride. Thank you. Um, and we are the, we are Chaotic Wholesome. Uh, Chaotic Wholesome Presents, and this is the Chaotic Wholesome Presents um, Candace um, and everything awesome that Candace does. Uh, and Jason. the table talk show. That's 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 the end of that. And uh, at the table talk show, this is what we do. We, we talk about TTRPG stuff, how to be a better player, how to be a better GM, how to be a person, how to not lay off people when you could just do things better, um, all with a focus on intersectionality and inclusivity so we all can have a good time. And yes, I am Kay. Uh, we will be, I'll be mostly at this channel this month because we got, we got a couple things going on. We are mostly doing what is it called? Baldur's Gate 3 streams on Wednesdays. However, our Wednesday might start early today or this week because Yeah, we tomorrow will definitely start. Zeros. Early. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do that unless unless we're just completely wiped. But I don't know. We'll see. Um I will make sure Kay is here for your pleasure. I just think like do I have anything else? I really don't. I'm I'm recording a bunch of stuff, but oh uh when does candle stick? Crimes come out, and is, that's this month, right? That is, is a good question. Month? I believe it'll be this month because I think Otherworld Hollywood 30 just dropped. <laughs> Final episode of that. So it should be this month. So, potentially, over on 20 Sided Stories, you can find both Candace and I in a very fun Candlestick Keepers game. Uh, but mostly, you can find us right here every Tuesday doing this, but also every Thursday with an amazing little something run by our incredible guest, Candace. who the heck is you? And what the heck is we doing here this month? Hi, I'm Candace. I tricked Kay and David into letting me do things on this channel. Uh, I, uh, my pronouns are they, she. I am a TTRPG performer, writer, uh, voice actor. And this month I am doing a chaotic wholesome takeover on Thursdays for chaotic, Magnificent Pride. We had like a really long version at first and I was like, that's probably too long. It was like, um, so yeah, Magnificent Pride. It's this month, it's every Thursday. Uh, we have four different GMs, four different tables. Everyone is queer, uh, LGBTQIA plus. Um, it's really exciting. I'm super pumped. Uh, I have been able to make my wildest dreams come true. Today with some extremely extraordinary people. And there is a super secret as well that we will and talk about. For our, for those hanging out here, like, look, uh, the incredible uh, Domo came in chat. Uh, Jason Bouldridge is doing all of the graphics, all of the announcements. 
all of the overlays. Like, it is looking amazing. Um, mm -hmm. And normally, we do, like, hold out until... But I feel like for this group, for our awesome audience, I would be happy to do some spoilers. If you're down for it, Candace, this is your event. I'm extremely down for spoilers. I feel like the people deserve to know how wonderful uh, this is turning out to be. Um, we have some hella killer sponsors, hella killer guests. Um, I am helicopter guests and sponsors. I mean, sure, maybe Pixel Chat, but they're hella and killer. There we go. <laughs> um, <laughs> this coming Thursday is our first. Uh, we are doing some good old fashioned D and D, but extra fucking gay. Uh, which is all I've ever wanted. Um, I think mm -hmm. every D game I've ever played in really is extra gay for the most part. I think there's maybe had... been one or two. Have been yeah, and gay. The, the ones that are not extra gay are just really not fun. Way less fun. Like, Way less fun. They have nothing like, to offer. That's the this... D&D game where you're just like, mm -hmm. I'm here. Why? Present. Yeah. <laughs> here. Oh my goodness. Oh my Herb, God. Thank you so much for the raid. Oh, Herb, Hello, you. everyone. Oh. Welcome in. We were just we were just getting started, we're but let's do this about Herb. rundown real, real quick. <laughs> yes. So, hi, I am Kay. Uh, this is David. I think David's here on this side. I think that's correct. I'm waiting for the stream itself to catch up. Yes. Um, this is David. We are Canada Colson Presents. We do TTRPG actual plays as well as the weekly table talk show, which you are here. Uh, welcome. Where we talk about all things TTRPGs from indies to intersectionality so that we can all have a good time. Uh, and this month we are doing a very special Candace the Magnificent Canada Colson Presents Takeover with Chaos, uh, Magnificent Pride. And we're about to talk about all of the tables, including the amazing Urban Bohemian. That's right. That's this Thursday. If you love Herb, which obviously you must, came over here with them, mm -hmm. uh, you should absolutely watch how fantastic uh, they are going to be this Thursday in our Dungeons Dragons game. It is a super, super gay one. Um, we're going to be celebrating our rainbow family and having really wonderful shenanigans. Uh, the cast is outstanding. We were lucky enough to get Eugenio um, and Jazzy Hands to M for us. Like, I'm so pumped. I've played with Eugenio before. I've never had him DM for me, so I am just like, oh, buckle up, buckle the fuck up. up. Yeah, <laughs> I have, gonna be I good have time. only I have only GM'd for Eugenio, and I have been a player alongside Herb once, and I have never played with with Chrissy or Matt. I am very. Excited. It's gonna be good. Yeah, we've got uh, we've got Urban Bohemian. Thank you, Brian. You're amazing. Thank uh, you, Brian. Enjoy your cooking. Matt Stu, uh, who is improv and RPG, are looking for to follow on Twitter. Fantastic streamer. Fantastic. That he actually makes really great content as well. Check out their content, improv and RPG. Uh, really nice shorts and things like that, talking about you know better ways, to be a better player, and a better control space. Uh, we have Chrissy in color as well, and then my favorite partners in the world. Hey, Dan um, and I could. And, and for those of you who are herb fans, now this character that I'm going to be playing has existed in my brain for a while. I have played them in a mini campaign streamed before, but he's going to be a personal attack on Herb at least once. Like herb <laughs> is just gonna be like, no, like I am waiting for 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 my character to do or say the thing, and Herb just be like, no, okay, no. <laughs> I, I see them in chat. What? <laughs> yeah, you should get prepared. My character is not going to be a personal attack on anyone. <laughs> she is a mess. <laughs> really, really excited. Um, I think the thing, the goal that I that I asked for all of my GMs. Uh, to to kind of have joy be the embodiment. Um, a lot of times, especially as a black person and as a queer person um, and as a trans person, a lot of our stories end up being kind of hemmed up by our struggle, right? Defined by things that make us sad or the, the, the things we've accomplished. And granted, resilience is a wonderful story, right? Resilience, being the underdog, winning against all odds, those are all really passionate uh, that, that we love telling and that we love hearing. But also, what about just some good old fun? Yeah. Some good old fashioned fun where things aren't shitty, even though the world is doing its best to make 
possible, right? Like, how do we? My, <laughs> one of my favorite statements is like, I am so glad, you know, that you are strong and I am so glad that you are this and I am so glad, but I hope that you can be soft and I mm. hope that you can be weak and I hope you are given that opportunity. Yes, it is. It is not easy to be strong, but it is also not. Yeah. Um, uh, and I, I don't know anything about what, why, are you, why, why, are you, why are you talking about me? I'm not. I am in this post. Untag me. Um, mm. I think. Uh, I think that you, that is that is a trend that you will find. Um, each GM, I ask to uh, if they didn't have a specific system that they love that brings them joy, that is um, that is created by a queer person. That they can pick any system they want as long as it is something they enjoy. So Henio picks the and has, is is cooking up a very very queer. I'm uh, so D &D excited game. for it. It sounds so good. Like I'm dying. Like I looked at my AC and I was like, that's probably not good. Hopefully no one's gonna fight you too hard because you're fucked. Um, but otherwise, and, it's gonna be great. <laughs> and hello, Reverend Dim Times. Thank you for joining us. So, um, I don't know. I. I'm very pumped for our sponsors as well. Kay. Yes, let's let's make sure we go over the spon like what you can get at this table if you come hang out with us on My Thursday. Word. Because if you donate, not only do you go does your 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 donation impacts the game in various fun ways. The donation also goes directly to Black and Pink, uh, which is our chosen charity for the month, which uh, you can tell folks more about. Um, but if you come by, you also, you do not have to donate. If you're just hanging out and active in chat, we will have giveaways. There are different giveaways for every single table from our amazing sponsors. And Candace, hit us up with the sponsors for the first game. A wealth, an embarrassment of riches. So for game number one, we are going to have some codes from Idol Champions. They have uh, a big drop that is coming this month, the new character, um, and they are raising money, I believe, for Lambda House. Um, yes. So, just in support of them, they're trying to give us some codes over. So, if you guys play Idol Chimp, uh, you will be able to have all kinds of goodies there. We also um, have. Sorry, let me just yeah. clarify. Everyone, we will have for that game, you can put exclamation point code in the chat and you will get a, a code for a free Electrum chest. Everyone gets it. If you have multiple accounts, you can redeem it on multiple accounts. Everyone Ooh. can have it. We will also be giving away part of the raffle, will be for three different packs, including a Founders pack that oh. can only be redeemed once. It is a huge get for that game. And um, it works on any of their platforms. Yeah, my goodness. So thank See, you, I don't Arnobo. Now I'm like, so I've got to start playing that game. Um, <laughs> I, it's, I need a it's new obsession, a, I think. It's a problem. Yeah, yeah. I try to stay away from games that are problems, but this one now I'm like. The, the nice thing about it is it is technically an idle game. So like, it'll just run in the background and then you can like, or just you turn it off and then you come mm -hmm. back and you're like, how did you do? Oh, I need to change this up. Uh, I have I got started because I watched Herb play it on his, on Sunday mornings mm -hmm. and yeah. Sorry, continue. And then get sucked in. It's okay, it's okay. Uh, we <laughs> also your problem. <laughs> will have a $25 gift certificate to Critical Hit Cookies. Um, I don't know if y'all know about Critical Hit Cookies. Uh, I was gifted one. I think Kay was also gifted one. Mm -hmm. this past year um, that saved then, my life oh my god right like so i see i actually saved my cookie uh because i was given an espresso chip cookie and i had had a bunch of caffeine that weekend and i was like <laughs> calm down so i tucked it into my traveling bag mm -hmm. and the next day after i had come home and i was like exhausted and i had absolutely no energy whatsoever uh i pulled out my critical hit cookie and it was so delicious like I am very picky about the about the baked goods that I eat. Like I don't tend to really like 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 grocery store cookies, things like that. Like I don't really mm -hmm. buy with that. But these taste homemade. These taste like someone actually made this for they you are in their kitchen. Yeah, they are so so good. They're and so um, good. if you if you like them, you can order them online. Um, and any con you go to for the part, I know they're definitely always at Pax yeah. Unplugged. Um, definitely check out the next con that you go to, to if they have a booth there. Uh, fantastic, fantastic oh. quality. And they also donated directly to our Tilted by campaign. Yes, as well. they donated $125. So, so um, go, you know, Oscar. Also, if you like Herb and or Ohinho, 
their characters from Rivals of Waterdeep are not only right. in Idol Champs, they have pride uniforms, pride outfits, pride which outfit. uh, freaking Virgil is in drag. Oh my God, stop. I love it. It's so good. It has the fan. Oh my God, no. Yes. Oh God, no, not the fan. They are gorgeous skins. They are gorgeous skins. I love that. I love that so much. Oh my goodness. Please go, go and support. Go and support. Um, wow, that's so cool. That's what I'm saying. I love companies that their their pride where their mouth is. They like don't just do like a little thing. That's what, and then they're that's done. certainly they like what a... they said. <laughs> <laughs> I love that there's a whole different skin for pride. That's so special. Um, especially for two RPG. Um, you will also have uh, a diehard dice gift card as well, I believe. Um, and and Paola's pixel. So understand. Uh, hold on, let me. Do... Is that for next week? I'm 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 going to double check because I do not want to lie to these amazing people. Yeah. Um, I don't. My my computer is old and shitty, so I tried to not have a bunch of windows open. I have too many tabs open right. <laughs> okay, y'all. If I seem extra scattered, for those of you who don't know, I was laid off yesterday. <laughs> so um. Yes. And um, if if I seem really surprised by things, it's because Kay and Candice both are just now telling me that we're running games this month. Um, I will fight you. <laughs> that is that is one hundred percent not true. <laughs> I will fight you. But ooh, wait, would it be funny? <laughs> so much trying to stress people out. Okay, Look, so. All I'm saying is that the next time Kay sees me in person, they might punch me directly in the mouth a little bit, and that never, wouldn't that never. wouldn't be illegal. I just sass you to death and back. <laughs> sass. <laughs> which okay. which hurts more? Yeah. Uh, Kay cast uh, cutting words. <laughs> yeah, idle champs. We will have a founders pack, so that is an awesome grab, and then. Um, for the June 6th, we will have the Idol Champions Founders Pack. We will have a $25 gift card to Critical Hit Cookies. We will have a $50 gift card to Paola's Pixels. And we will have a pin set, the Mini Pins Bag of Holding. That. So Die Hard Dice is not this first game. Got it, okay. So that just gives you more reason to sound because <laughs> exactly. after this Thursday, the following oh, Thursday, that. we have someone that is kind of new to our little TTRPG space. Uh, there is a whole TTRPG uh, YouTube and like Twitch streamer world that is like a gamer TTRPG universe. Um, and I'm bringing somebody over uh, that actually, coincidentally, urban. Um, I bring someone over from that universe. universe. Um, there is a new game out uh, called Islas, which is um, a two, six uh, TTRPG, grimdark, um, it's really, really interesting. Um, basically, humans uh, tried to uh, tried to colonize a new world that they found. Uh, Wait, humans co out. colonizing? What? Yeah, we do yeah. that. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I bet you the person it. who had that we idea tried. is uh, Milk of Magnesia. But yeah, continue. Were, were they white people? <laughs> we try, right? We Some try. A4s. Uh, <laughs> Some printer papers. So basically, um, the theme of Islas is we tried. Uh, to to go into this grim dark world and uh, and and colonize and the creatures that lived there were like no no but you can work for us if you want uh, the monsters that live there are giant uh, carapace spiders um, some of them are like hermit crab spiders that can like leave their shells behind and inhabit like human bodies and stuff there's also tisk which are like snake like wolves that like have retractable bones and guttural growly voices and like eating people. Uh, it's awesome. Uh, it's I really scary. The lines and veils are gonna tell me so much about the players, continue. Correct. I love how upset <laughs> David is. This is everything I've ever wanted. <laughs> You're gonna love producing this stream because it isn't. Um, uh, yeah, lots of blood, lots of gore. So if you love horror and you like really scary things and that's your jam, which like, let's face it, here's we love our, we love our monster. Um, the Tisk is at the top of my monster fucker list. Uh, it is <laughs> spicy. Uh, the GM and creator of, of Islas is Nick. 
um, who is a wonderful Chicana uh, lesbian uh, trans streamer. Um, she is wonderful. Uh, you can mm -hmm. catch her over at Nicotine. Um, she's been on some Grand Theft Auto uh, uh, RP shit recently that is hilarious. So if you are looking for some entertainment, especially later in the evening, I highly suggest you check her mm -hmm. out. Uh, she's an awesome GM, a really great all around person. Um, and our table includes uh, Chaotic Wholesome Presents favorite and Stellar Encore. Uh, who I play in, in the Emergency okay. Power podcast with, who, y'all, yes. y'all, y'all, we're talking about monster fucking. Okay, this this is my Emergency Power Starfighter character. This is Pans. They're a <laughs> shapeshifter. Canonically, they have bones. Good. That's all I'm saying. Good, and I hope it happens. That is a ship that I enjoy riding. They're... It, Things are a little complicated. Uh -oh. So baby, it depends on how things go with another <laughs> character. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Um, we're here for that drama though. Um, that's also very gay. It's probably Also, guys. Para's sister is kind of a problem. I've never met a sister that wasn't a problem. I'm not a problem and I'm someone's sister, thank you. Now Candace. But you are I a never problem said, for David. I never you said being a problem, a problem was a bad David. thing. <laughs> but the number of, of record you scratches for David. I have experienced at your hands alone <laughs> makes you a problem, TM. And also, Herb, I am uh, I am very sorry that you were not able to find cute pets. <laughs> uh, but yes, so Pan. Yes, Pan is wonderful. Um, I also uh, have and Diljon at the table. If you're a fan of Bowie's in Space, Spelljammer game. If you're a fan of Backwater Bastards, uh, Taylor is just Steph's kiss. Um, excellent. You can see her all over the internet right now doing some bomb Thor looking men shots of this new character for their game. Oh my goodness, the thirst mm -hmm. is real, y'all. Uh -huh. I'm like happy pride in. Uh, um, and then myself, obviously. But last but not least, we've got another. Chaotic wholesome favorite, Patty Masihi. Got Piper. Ooh. Those who watched of God, God Plane, Plane fame, yep. and also Piper, incredible GM of what we do in the shallows, where you can so also good. see the magnificent Candace. That's me. I'm on that show too. It's really mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. If you like our flag means death and you like gay drama on the high seas, I highly suggest you come by what we do in the shallows every other Saturday. Y'all, the game is called What We Do. In the shallows, do you need anything more? That is freaking brilliant. Yeah, that's all you need. Um, but yeah, Piper is going to be in it, which I'm thrilled to have those worlds collide because I think it's the first time all of those people have played together and I'm the only anybody else. So yeah, disgustingly so, excited. This is, again, if we're doing spoilers here today. Yes, yes. Piper and Pan have briefly shared a table. That's what I I wasn't allowed to say it. I wasn't allowed to Yes, say hey, Piper! Oh, snap! Look at who's here! Oh, my God. In the house! Oh. Perfect timing! I was just thinking about how much Matihi makes me panic, and here they are. <laughs> and there's too much panic. I was stressed out. Yeah, well, I was stressed before. Because, again, <laughs> Candace, problems, you caused them. <laughs> I, but I'm so nice. Anyway. Again, uh. it's not, it, the problem <laughs> is not that you're not nice. Um, and for that game... Our sponsors are Die Hard Dice, who are donating a $50 gift card. You can get so many shiny math rocks with that. So many. And oh my God. another $25 gift card from Critical Hit Cookies. So oh. get your math rocks or get your sweet tooth on. Listen, it's going to be so good. Like, it's hard to see the sponsors roll in because every single one, I like Kay and I were like, who should we get our sponsors? We like talked it out and like we all had like a little brainstorm made a little list and then each of us reached out to different sponsors and like as they started rolling and we were like yay and we got to celebrate but like the more that we get sponsors the more i'm just like why did we choose brands that we because now i want all the stuff <laughs> right <laughs> give me the stuff i want it um but i am very happy to share it with all of you um especially uh for this charity which we will go into a bit. um for our third pride 
uh, table. This one actually hasn't even been announced. These next two haven't been announced yeah, yet. Yeah, these are Twitter. these are channel so, exclusives, y'all. Yes, you're only getting this because you're here today. Uh, and go ahead and whisper it to your friends if you. Table three is GM by yours truly. Yes. Me. I am the GM for table three on the twentieth, uh, and I am going to be. It's going to be very, very gay and very. Uh, I'm pretty excited about it. Um, I have five delicious players, five of them. One, Dauntless. Like, are you kidding? Come on, like, fantastic. Two, a Ghost of Eli from Mayday Roleplay. Like, stop, right? Like, I, I was like, how could it be better? Ambrose, Ambrose from Other Cider Studios. <laughs> okay, sure, why not? Yeah, no, that's it, Zelda. you're done, right? That's too much awesome already. Be Zelda. Be Zelda. Be Zelda. And then, like, I was I was out there like, I can handle five players. Who might be my fifth player? I don't know. And then Katie Osaurus was like, do you have room for Monster Hearts? And I was like, mm -mm, stop. Ooh. Uh, loops all fems in Monster Hearts on the 20th. It's going to be There's going to be time. so much monster fucking. My goodness. <laughs> My goodness, um, you're trying to plan that session zero, and I'm like, I know that I only allotted 60 to 90 minutes for other session zeros, but I'm not gonna be enough. Yeah, not gonna be enough. Yeah, yeah, no. Nope. No. <laughs> um, and then last but not least, wait, wait, a wait. magnificent pride lineup. Yes, that one is the 20th, correct? The 20th, yes. And if you come by for that incredibly stacked table, yes. you have three prizes for that one. Listen, they're too good. A $50 Die Hard Dice gift card, a $25 mm -hmm. Critical Hit Cookies gift, gift mm -hmm. card, and a $50 Palace Pixels listen, gift card. Listen, if you guys haven't checked out Palace Pixels, you need to right away. Uh, have... No matter what your gender presentation, they've got something for you. David, Guaranteed. before I even knew what they were, gave me one of their D2s. Yes! Perfect. And then I I kickstarted the 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 um raise your banner so i have mm -hmm. dm bard and rogue so those good. are like my three and i yeah. love them so much their stuff is so good there is a shirt that has d20s all over it that um has, i need some of those buttons really oh good. my god like i need it so, so bad good. and i think she's dropping mini skirts soon for summer uh midi so, skirts midi like, am i oh, midi skirts okay. yeah midi, midi skirts, skirts. and summer. new button-up designs yes the answer is yes um i need all of it uh yes. It could be a real problem. They also have really cute shirts and tank tops to talk as well. So if you wanted to celebrate your pride, they have some pride themes as well. Um, just really cute stuff. Uh, and then Die Hard Dice, obviously, we've already talked about how wonderful yeah. their things are. I actually have, um, Die Hard Dice does some uh, recycled dice that are made out of like, kind of discarded and put away. And I have some of them. Great. They're like 10 bucks and it feels like you're saving the environment, which is um, So very, very into all of the things that are stand for we got oh, yeah. really lucky we're actually waiting for some people too so there might be more yeah. announcements could potentially be um yeah. <laughs> but uh also i'm gonna say those pixels i found the perfect gift for your delightfully angry queer friend it is a it's a skull and it looks like fire coming out from around the skull right and mm. it just says you have been hellishly rebuked and i got that yes. for jess and it comes in a patch but it also comes in a, uh, an enamel pin Enamel yes. pin, it has the two backs. Look, if your enamel pin doesn't have two backs, why are you making an enamel pin? It. Give it two backs. Yeah. Um, and it is gorgeous and so good because like there is nothing more queer than a T. That was sure. that was the worst, that was the <laughs> most incorrect part of the DD movie. Is even though she was like bi-coded with the mm -hmm. with the cute little druid at the very beginning. Mm -hmm. Like, no, that T was queer. Yes, lesbian. Let's be real. Yeah, agree. What I did like, though, is that I think both actors, I know that Justice Smith is trans in real life, non-binary mm -hmm. and queer. So yeah. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to keep the above the table floor and mix it in with the, with the at the table. But I'm just like, put it in a pot. <laughs> it really felt like, it really felt like uh, both of those characters were like, we have to be. Yes. Yes. Like, it felt like, mm. Yes, that's exactly how it felt. And I was like, are you going to be together because you're each other's beard? Because if so, then yes. Yes. I'm okay with that. Invite Michelle Rodriguez too. Also very gay, obviously. Obviously. I get you. You like short, you like small, pretty men. Hmm? 
Yeah, that's the lesbian starter boyfriend. A small. You, you like uh, you Let's like men real. you can pick up and carry around. <laughs> I mean, mm. come on, right? Let's. They, they, you like a pocket-sized snack? Okay. I'm not gonna judge, but also, come on. Um. <laughs> So I, I, I have nothing to say about this. Nothing? That I, that, the caveat is that I can say into a hot mic on the internet. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Nothing, well, nothing that is even distantly safe for work. See, this is why y'all need a Patreon account, because then David's spicy hot takes. Do you not know what, what we just created? What did you just create it? We have a free to join Patreon. Ooh. That's what goes we on there. We have a free and we haven't even we haven't even made the command for it yet in chat mm -hmm. but uh, sure. but I mean, switch it. over thank you the theme of today's show is not magnificent pride it's really good timing that's the theme of today's, today's it episode. really is like we're gonna talk about herb hi herb we're talking about piper hi piper you should have a patreon here's the link patreon is completely free um we do have plans to add some tiers, especially for those of you who like the Emergency Fire Podcast, or maybe who are fans of Godplane. Look, if you want to be a pocket snack for Michelle Rodriguez, then I have one of those little zip-up insulated lunch boxes that you could both go in, and I will keep <laughs> you very safe. Yes. You have to make sure we arrive at our destination. Yes, yeah, you you will get there in one piece. I may not. Eventually. But you will get there. Yes, that's what I need in my life. Um, Piper says, put me in the lunchbox. Done. Can do. Uh, <laughs> can do. Matt, too. You can come too, Matt. That's cool. That's fine. I don't think that you are small enough for that one character, are punk rock enough for as a person. Come along. Um... Oh, our last table. How can I forget our last table? How could you forget? It's our last. Our last table is. Uh, I'm is, excited. Is, I mean, it is jazzy. Let me tell you, it is a jazzy. It, it, it's not as jazzy as the first table because the first table is the jazzy. Is jazzy, pants. right? This one is but, more. What is the word I'm looking for? Um, it will shake you to your atoms. Yes, yes, and make you atomless. Yes. Um, so our our last table on June twenty seventh, rounding out our Pride Month shenanigans, got guys in chairs, which is written by Super Dylan. The uh, GM of this game is none other than Robin Eckberg, Captain Crail from the Atomless Podcast. GM of the Atomless Podcast. We also have Super Dylan, the author of said game, playing at the table. You've got me, obviously. I'm gonna be there. Who gives a shit? Because Dare we is gonna be there. Dare Who Hickman. Dare shit? to dream. I give a shit. Okay. Dare Hickman is gonna be there <laughs> as well. You? Matt says yes. Excellent. I will be very normal about this. Totally fine, Matt. You won't have anything to worry about. If you watched Body and Soul and you love Body and Soul, the GM from Body and Soul back again on Chaotic Wholesome Q will be repping us in this wonderful, fantastic event. You will also have Chaotic Wholesome OG God Plane cast member, Youngles, Jen Mack showing up, rolling the up into town. The first run of God Plane. I mean, like, it it's just, it's disgusting. The it people is that disgusting. I have gotten for this. It's wild. And if you come and hang out with those awesome people, you can win a $50 Die Hard Dice gift card and a $25 credit card. So that brings us to I just keep getting better. <laughs> thank you Kay. that's true we have that sorry rex typed it and i yes. had to i had well, you i'm did. sorry you had to queer eye is that's just... some queer eye yes it but is yes. june it so yes this is hey uh devnell thank you so much for the follow so it is june and it is pride here in the u.s it's not mm -hmm. necessarily pride everywhere correct but another important thing happens in June, my birthday. But I mean, beside that, immediately <laughs> after my birthday is also mm. a very important day. It is. Liberation Day. For the black of us and the not so black of us. It is American Liberation Day. Who cares about also Independence known Day? As Juneteenth. When you have Juneteenth. Okay. So on Wednesday, June 19th at 7 p.m. 
are going to have Gable that celebrates Black Joy. We actually just had the first of two session zeros last night that went really fantastically well. You might be seeing a little bit more of the GM. I don't know. I can't say. I cannot uh, handle this table, y'all. The table is just table. atrocious. So I cannot believe it. We're going to be playing Paradox Perfect, a sci-fi, uh, very low stakes comedy improv game uh, as seen on NADPOD, if you're a NADPOD person. The person who GM'd it for the NADPOD crew, including Axford, is the person who is running it for us right here in Catacolsum. And that person is Jeremy Cobb from Three Black Halflings. Uh, wow. Um, very exciting. And by the way, you should head over to Three Black Halflings right now and listen to the interview with Candace, where you can learn all about the Omegaverse. It's true. It's true. <laughs> it's a really stupid conversation, but it's exceptional, in my opinion. Um, I'm obviously biased, but you listen to it, tell me what you think. Uh, apparently, their, their Discord was very excited about it. Uh, I heard <laughs> very good things. Um, so Jeremy is going to be DMing this game, uh, which is awesome. The theme is going to be Juneteenth and Black Joy, um, because we've been going all month long. Um, and then got me. We've got Zakia Goggins from Mayday Roleplay. Fantastic RPer, fantastic artist as well. Hit them up if you are looking. Uh, we also have Cypher of Tear joining us. Tanya to pass I need diverse games and rivals of Waterdeep. Exceptional player. And mother. Exceptional GM. And mother. Thank, thank you very much. And into the Motherlands. And then we oh, also Oh, thank you, have Motherlands. Heck. Black Girl Mage, Lexi McQueen, joining us. He is tremendous. He is all over the place doing fantastic things. And last but not least, I don't know what I did, but somehow I got Danielle Radford from Misfits and Magic on Dimension 20. Oh. And Mentopolis. I don't know. And Mentopolis. <laughs> Yes, correct. And I think I think she's also going to be doing some more on Dimension this summer, as mm -hmm. well um, on their other show. Uh, like I think she was just on. I'm um, actually, um, she was just seen on Persephone Farm, I believe, at Candela mm -hmm. Live. Um, she is fabulous and wonderful in every way, um, and was very gracious to donate her time to this. Um, that table, all of these tables. Like, I don't know how I got that lucky. I'm afraid that it's like, I'm gonna peak after this. Like, there's not gonna be anything else after this. Like next month, I'm just gonna see. You guys are just gonna talk about that one time Candace was cool. Um, hopefully that's nope, not what's never. gonna happen. That's not what's um, gonna happen, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> but we have, we have sponsors for that too, actually. Yes, that is another $50 gift card to Die Hard Dice and $25 gift card to Critical Hit. It's gonna be great. Um, I actually I... asked, some other people, someone else to sponsor that today. Black owned business. Um, I, I have an embarrassment of riches, y'all. And all of this support uh, Black and Pink. A lot of people are raising money for the Trevor Project this week, which I totally understand. They are a mainstay. Uh, we raised money for the Trevor Project, uh, Kay and I, during our Rainbow Roll mm -hmm. event two years ago. Um, a lot of folks and... are also doing Trans Lifeline. Yes. Also awesome. Also awesome. However, we were like, you know what? What about practical, practical need, right? The reality, especially since we were doing pride and we were doing like, is there something? Oh my goodness, Youngles in the house. Youngles, everyone we is were just talking summoned. about you. We were talking about your table <laughs> and your, and your, here you are. oh, your run on the OG God plane. Hold on, we will have a Candace come right back, hopefully. Hopefully. There they are. Hi. Did I blip? Yep. You just, you, you blipped out of the call and now you're back. Oh my God. That's never happened to me before. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's awesome. No worries. Jen arriving, I think. I got too excited. Yeah, the, Jen, I'm sorry, Jen. You, you brought, see, Jen is also a problem in the yes. best way. That's true. That's true. Jungles is definitely a problem. Yeah, Candace got too excited when Jen appeared. That's exactly. Yeah. The um, internet was like, no. No, um, it was like too much, Can, <laughs> cannot. So we were talking about our charity. Um, so the reason that we went with uh, Black and Pink is because um, in America, among other places, um, people of color obviously are incarcerated at much higher rates than white people are. Um, that is already a problem, right? The Last Prisoner Project exists have nonviolent crimes, particularly those 
marijuana offensive offenses, which uh, I believe President Biden just signed some some bills into law just the other day regarding uh, the marijuana and and making it a less um, a less high grade drug in the eyes of the state mm -hmm. um, and the eyes of the country. Um, so, like, it was really important I think for us to try to give to a charity that united both our needs as uh, as a as an intersectional organization with Chaotic Wholesome and Magnificent Pride um, and Magnificent Juneteenth, as well as uh, highlighting LGBTQIA people. Um, so because black and brown people are incarcerated at higher rates, and then because LGBT plus are also incarcerated at higher rates, um, Black and Pink basically is, an, is a charity that uh, tries to uh, help people who are black and brown. Um, that have been incarcerated or are currently incarcerated in our existence, whether that's legal aid, whether that's picking life back up and trying to rebuild after getting out of prison, um, as well as trying to uh, both overhaul and potentially abolish the Obviously, we have a lot of private prisons in this country. Um, we have a lot of politicians' pockets are lined when people are, you know, sent off to jail. Um, we have a lot of young people, especially black and brown people, who are convicted of crimes. Uh, not just at a higher rate, but also uh, are given more, right? They're punished the way that adults are punished, even young people. Um, and when you are homeless and you are trans and you've been kicked out of your house, that is something that you absolutely have to worry about. Um, so that's what Black and Pink does. They have uh, chapters all over the country. Um, you can look them up on your own if you know about them. There will also be in the next couple of days that we'll talk a little bit about what they do and how you can get involved. Um, but we are trying to raise money for them uh, through Teltify to for that people uh, have the help that they need. Um, I think, again, it's awesome that people are raising money for these. They are important. Um, if you have the money to give, feel free to donate. We will appreciate it. Um, I'll discuss the redeem in just a second. Um, if you don't have the money to give, that's okay. Like, we appreciate the fact that you're showing up and supporting the players. You're showing up and supporting their projects. The event and the flyers that we're putting out there, like, that meet to us um this is the first uh hopefully not the last uh pride celebration that i am doing in partnership with chaotic Wholesome. and i would like to for believing enough to um and trusting me enough to carry out this i mean for all of the tons of help they could have given me i could not have done them so really really appreciate it. i mean rainbow roll counts yeah. like like it's not your first it's not my first charity stream event but it is my first with y'all and it is also my least dramatic <laughs> fair <laughs> this one yeah. has had almost no issues that one was nothing but issues. Yes. and for people wondering yes i have been sitting here trying not to go on a full ass rant about the prison industrial con complex and i have not you're welcome no now <laughs> is the time do it please. um and two no because we don't have two and a half hours and i don't have my whiteboard set up um and, and two, look, I'm a broke bitch. Plenty of y'all out there don't have money, but you know somebody who do, does have money. So go over to their house, steal their silverware, pawn it, and then donate that to charity. <laughs> and if that's a little too forward for you, then I guess you can settle for like pinning them up against the wall, like 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 in a romance novel and whispering in their ear, if you don't donate the money, then I will go get boxing gloves for you and David will show up to your house. But um, also, you said, you said pin them to the wall and I was like, is it thirsty mm -hmm. Right, yeah, it's, it's, get, it's, getting, it's getting a little spicy. <laughs> and then you gotta whis whisper into their ears, but. David, those David, we have a potential spinoff. The potential oh, spinoff. Because Rex says David needs yes. a rant show. I will play the ignorant white guy who sets him off. Yes. Listen, I, yes. I don't, over. don't yeah. answer right away. They're they're okay. First off, we have all these people who go and talk to celebrities, and there are celebrities that I agree with, and celebrities I don't agree with. Like I'm much more of a George Clooney guy rather than a Kevin Sorbo guy, mm -hmm. and I should tell you mm -hmm. all you need to know about my politics. Yeah. But. We should not be listening to celebrities. We should not be listening to to jackasses who don't have stable relationships, giving like talking into microphones about dating advice. Like, 
there are experts out there. There are people who have degrees in the history of race in the United States, the history of the US. Like, like there's, there's a white guy on TikTok who's like, listen, every memorial that you've been to into the South is wrong and they're lying to you and they're doing it on purpose. Uh, that- David, click your pixel chat link again. Okay. Uh, also go check out Stefan. Stefan will edumacate the right. fuck out of you. That's true. Um, Speaking Night of X. experts. Roll Night X. Um, that said, I'd like to think that I am more informed about the history of race in the United States compared to your your standard issue white person with the no left behind education. Um, so when it comes to the history of race in this country, uh, I, 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 I can tell you some shit that you don't know. For instance, find me on Twitter and ask, like sl slide into my DMs and ask me when the last slave was released in the United States. The answer will blow your fucking mind. Mm -hmm. And one could even argue that most of the people in prisons are. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Ooh, yeah, go go back the the the, the amendment uh, the amendment that abolished slavery. Go back and read that real close. Read mm -hmm. that with a lawyer's mind. Read that with a fine toothed comb. Read it like a public defender. <sighs> also, deep breaths, deep breaths. It's, it is a month to get fired up. <laughs> I am, I also, I'm a, a big fan of what's the dude, uh, uh, Ted, uh, not Ted Raimi, Ted Raimi's the kid. Um, uh, Raimi, guy who made Evil Dead, guy who made Hercules, guy who Sam made Raimi. Zena. Sam yeah. Raimi. Hercules is an objectively bad show. And Baby Zena is an objectively good show. <laughs> True. And I love plenty of bad shows, but even though they're made by the same people and right next to each other, and one so of them was crossovers. a lot better. Yeah, like like Zeta came because of, but you put them right next to each other and one is so much better than the other. And I remember thinking to myself, why? Why? It's not just because Lucy Lawless is hot. It's not because, just because I, as a teenage boy, had my lesbian awakening. It's because the 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 themes and the things that they wanted to do and the things that the the main actors pushed for were very different and now all these years later we can see why Kevin Sorbo didn't necessarily like push a lot of the more like radical for um Saturday afternoon TV themes um because uh anyway I, uh, that, that, that's a tangent, but I will take any opportunity to talk about Xena because <laughs> of course I will. Well, I mean, especially during June. Right, oh, especially, especially, especially during Pride Month. <laughs> Shout out to Mental Lamia in chat, yeah. Cassie Walker. I was on a panel with them oh. this past PAX. It was amazing. If you would like to talk to somebody uh, similar to how we were calling out Stefan, like yes. to talk to somebody about the history and intersection of race and health in this country, I highly suggest following them. Mental Woke on Twitter. Impeccable. Impeccable. Lucy Lawless still calls Kevin Sorbo peanut on Twitter, and it's hilarious, says Rayfriend <laughs> in times. That's <laughs> excellent. Deserve. Um, but yes, I'm going to I'm going to backtrack to before real quick and just say, if you can donate, great. Thank you. If you cannot, retweet, um, tell your friends, but even just hanging out in chat, just yep. having the stream going, dropping an emote occasionally, that helps so much with visibility. And again, oh, well, thank you so much for the uh, follow, Aaron My Laundry. Um, retweet, follow the players, support these awesome people who are, y'all, They're everyone here is donating their time and their talents and everyone is so freaking talented. So. Mm -hmm. Support the players. Um, I know you won't mind if I say this, Candace, because this Not is something all. that David and I have, um, David and I have like made a, a theme and a goal of all of the games, charity or otherwise that we do, is like we try very hard to find some of the bigger well-known names and then put them with some of the most amazing up and coming or folks who are not as well known in the TTRPG space yet, because just because someone isn't well-known doesn't mean they are not incredibly talented. 
And that is one of the things that I'm really proud and excited that we've been able to do is like pair some of these. You are super well known. You are not so well known, but you mesh perfectly. And it has been ge a genuine treat to see like you and Herb going off and doing stuff together and just getting to see these people whom I have connected, we have put onto tables together, going off and doing other things on other channels. It is a joy. So please go support these people. And, you know, we run in small circles, as you see. Like, there's a lot of, like, this person was here, and now they're here, and now they're at this. So if you're cool and hang out with these people, that is how you get invited to tables. That is 100%. how this happens. So be awesome in the space, be kind to each other, and uplift each other, because, y'all, we live in a corporate hellscape. We're the we're the industrial prison complex and the and corrupt cops and all sorts of and and capitalism itself yep. just sucks, right? Yep. So uplift each other so that we can all uplift each other. Yep. And that was a big part that was a big part of my casting for I wanted to, like you said, Kay, I wanted to hear people who had like smaller followings or people who had really large followings mm -hmm. to try and get the biggest rushers to get that 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 kind of um bottom line of people watching, right? And sharing the event. Um, for me, when I cast uh, for things that are not like huge charity events where we're trying to raise as much money as possible or something like that, for me, it's not really about how big someone is. It's about how much I trust them, how much they, uh, how much they care, what they give back to the community. Um, I have become a very community-focused person over the last year and a half to two years. Um, it wasn't something that I think I set out to do or like there was there were problems and I was like, I need to comment on this because if I don't, no one's gonna say anything. I'm the only person who can comment on this, I'm gonna comment. Um, and it's really difficult, I think, for some people to realize that as, like to wield that as the as the shield that it is, right? Some people wield it as a that um, about that today um, on Twitter about how it's, it's difficult because people have bad interactions with people and then the rest of your existence is obliterated no anymore because you've been canceled, right? For me, I'm all about accountability. If somebody shows me they want to be better, if somebody shows me that they are interested in doing the right thing, that they are taking feedback, that they are listening, that they're actively I'm all for that. Um, uh, Cassie actually posted about this as well. They had a really experience uh, where they tried to someone understanding what people were trying to say when they were asking right um and i think that when something like that happens people remember that right people sure will remember the bad thing that you did right or the thing that was less than great or what have you. um great song uh from steve here comes the thought is all about that something that is uh the most charming thing in the world and regretting it um and then trying to be but not everybody's interested in growing some people are just like shrug that's an instant not that's an instant cancellation on an, on an invite to my team I, I yep. will not I, I will not engage um so the people that i am playing with for pride um i'm very lucky to have been able to vet um i have played with every single one of them i don't think there's a single person that is at my table i have never or other than Julie, and that's only because uh danielle is famous <laughs> yeah. yeah that's it right um oh yeah cassie yes here comes the <laughs> so good um that is that is the song that i listen to i need to um, <laughs> and um, I'm yeah, going to say too, y'all, like, let me be very clear. Candace says this and they mean it. Like, I don't know if you noticed. I don't know if you can tell by looking at me. Right. <laughs> and my white ass has made an ass of myself more than once. Right. I have misspoken. I have said something that I didn't. I hadn't thought of the implications of the origins of that phrase or whatever. And Candace and David both have been like, Hey, like separately, right? On around different things, but they like, again, if you want to be a good person, if you want to be a, a an ally, if you want to be, you know, just a better person, you have to be able to sit back and say, hmm, maybe I need to think about this because when people tell you that something that you did was harmful or incorrect or whatever, that is not an easy thing to do. It sucks, and that means that they are, they think that you are worth that effort. And mm -hmm. that every time they do that, they're opening themselves up to being hurt more. Right. Because blowback happens 
very often. People yep. love to play a victim, right? So and it, it can be hard to combat that as well, right? Like without the pile on. Mm -hmm. um, once someone has decided that you have messed up, it's like, is this person you right? Um, mm -hmm. And I think a lot of times people get their backs up about things. Like that's something that I really appreciate about you okay, as, a, as, an, as a person that I feel is an ally and as a safe space for myself. Um, and a big part of the reason that I was okay with even bringing this at all, um, because I know that if something happens, that maybe isn't the best. Maybe you say something that, that has has a different context to your experience than it does for me, my experience, right? I know I can go to you and say, hey, that's not good. Or if a player has a problem, I know I can go to you and say, hey, this player has an issue. How can we solve this? And you aren't going to be like, well, I didn't mean it. Like, you're not gonna put the wall up. You're gonna accept what is being said and you're going to seek change it, right? Even if it's not what you meant, you will talk about that later. Right, the apology comes first, resolution comes first, and then on the back end, you're like, "Well, this is what I meant. I'm sorry that it was rude. That's on me. I should have done." That. Right, and that accountability is something that I find is very strong. Like I, that is that is a that is a major part of how I assess whether or not I. Can. Um, someone else though that I haven't played, Cipher. Mm -hmm. I'm playing with Cipher, but like her track record speaks itself. Right, Absolutely. she is the first. How? Oh my god. Oh my God. Thank you for the reason. <laughs> you see? You see? <laughs> it's all about timing today. Um, welcome in, Cypher. It's so nice to see you. Um, yes. We're super happy to have you. For um, Yeah, I have never played with Cypher, but their reputation, her reputation proceeds, right? Like, she was the first and your, is Your ears founder. are burning, that's what you did. Yeah, yep. and is a founder of the of the PAX uh, intersection, Intersectionality Fellows, Fellowship. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, and, and I it's need funny diverse because, games. Yes, and I need diverse games. And actually, uh, both uh, Cassie, mental. Nah, you're in here. And <laughs> Herb, both were recipients of that award, um, mm -hmm. of that prestigious award. So this is what I'm saying. Like that kind of care, right? That kind of dedication uh, to one's community, is something that I find extremely inspiring. And I'm mm -hmm. really happy to be able to surround myself with. Them, you know? and if somebody makes a mistake, again, it's all about how you deal with. It. Um, so I'm really, really happy to have all of these wonderful people joining me uh, for these weeks of gaming. Like I <sighs> couldn't joked honestly. Like I'm touched that everybody said yes. I recognize that giving of your time uh, and donating your time is is not necessarily an easy thing for everyone. Um, I am in between jobs right now, so paid gigs are definitely in my hey, mind. Like um, like like someone else I know. <laughs> like other people. <laughs> so. Like gay, game industry layoffs. <laughs> Hit like a ton of bricks. God damn. Um, Game industry layoffs <laughs> got hands. They do. Mm -hmm. And the hands are felt. They've got ripples and reverberation. Um, but yeah, I mean, to to bring us back up past this more serious point that I was making, um, it's going to be a fucking bomb fun. Like, uh -huh. it's it's just like I <laughs> I've, I've needed some things to be uplifting. Kay has needed some things. David has needed <laughs> some things to be uplifting. And I'm really, really proud that we were able, uh, mm -hmm. especially with Jason doing these graphics um, mm -hmm. that have just like really just leveled up this. Wow. Um, like, I'm just so lucky and so happy um, of all these people coming together. I didn't have enough tables I wanted to invite. So just, you know, if you weren't invited, expect an invite next year because I got too many. Maybe expect an invite later tables. this year. Like, like, That's like true. this ain't the only true. thing we're doing. In the we next got other stuff months, cooking. You'll be here. And, yeah. David and I have already started rough brainstorming on our Christmas one shot. Yep. It's gonna be great. Um, now, I have, I have two points to make because one, because people come here asking for advice and I have advice about both showing up to a table and putting together you have opinions? a table. opinions? Right. Now, no. I'm not one of those people who believes that who you are in your video games is who you are as a person. Like, your your psychotic dark urge run where you just say yes all the time, I don't think that you're a latent serial killer. <laughs> I think you're having a good time. It's okay. You, you think you're just, they're just over Gale. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> there are a couple of people that I am. Anyway. Like, the first thing I did in my first dirge run <laughs> was I accidentally killed Gale. Aww. And I have his hand. <clears throat> it's a good hand. Um, but I love I love that Cypher pings on Dirge. 
right? But <laughs> pay b both pay attention to how you behave and how other people behave when they're in TTRPG games, because something that I brought to the games that I played and implemented in the games that I played is an immediate pivot. I have always tried to think of myself as someone who accepts and internalizes new information and then shifts towards the right course. I don't double down and go, but no, I was right. It's like, no, this is, I don't care if it's me or someone else, as long as we have the right answer, that's all I care about. And so when someone in one of my games is like, listen, you got to stop like, like ritually sacrificing the orphans. And I'm like, I didn't go, mm, but the orphans deserve it. So we're just going to keep doing. <laughs> now, as much as I may feel that is true, and I am right about that, I, I was like, okay, we're not going to ritually sacrifice the orphans anymore. And that circles back to um, like all the players I've had, all the tables that I've been at, where I've been able to go, or someone else has been able to go, hey, this makes me uncomfortable, let's talk about it. And then someone else goes, no, we're not gonna talk about it, we're just gonna change it, we're just gonna fix it, we're just gonna make it better. Like, we don't, you don't have to explain this to me. Um, and- yeah, the orphans were cannibals. <laughs> right. <laughs> and, and we're not gonna talk about their other good qualities, but, um, but again, like, and that's something that, that, that Kay and I have had since the inception of this channel and the inception of chaotic uh, wholesome is that not necessarily the idea of safe space but like the idea of we don't like there's enough cruelty in the world we don't want to be cruel to people especially cruel to the people that we want to hang out with when we say we want health care for everybody we want health care for the people who kind of suck too um uh yeah that's what the problem is well when you get a new mic you gotta change a lot of things <laughs> yeah and david um, you might turn your gain down just a tiny bit more uh, there is a gain knob on the mic itself david has my hand me down how about now no um <laughs> but if if you're playing with someone who uh, isn't listening to other characters, isn't respecting other characters, that they're not going to respect other players, and they're not going to respect other people in their life. Um, and which means they're not going to respect you. And they might be impressed with you because you're you're a big deal, especially if you're like Candace. Like that first that first the first couple of times they're gonna be like, well I'm gonna play it cool because I want them to like me. And then all of a sudden that mask falls and then they're an asshole. So as you go forth to plan things, as you go, as you like meet people in the space, because I wish I could say everyone in the space is great. And I'm extremely fortunate in the majority of people that I have met in the space is great. But that's also because I run my own shit. There are plenty of people I know, including Kay and Candace, where there's, there's just a long people, well, there's a long list of people where if I meet them at a con, I'm going to pull them to the side and be like, okay, listen, we won't have to have a conversation. We're gonna have to have a very serious conversation. No, put your mask back on. We're going. We're going to talk about this like adults. Um, but you're not going to kiss. No, you're no, not going to slam against the wall <laughs> and then. No, everybody. Everybody who's getting slammed against the wall already know that's knows that's coming. Um, <laughs> like I need to have a notarized form of consent before that happens. Um, but going forward, like people assholes and you don't have to work with them and there are plenty of great people that are out there that you can work with um that don't necessarily like get a lot of tables um and that there's a whole other point i have about like uh person of color representation during june and i'm not gonna go there the second real important thing is the the, the second important piece of advice i have is about the money because ultimately like i would love to get these tables together just because just for shits and giggles i'd love to get these tables together not on camera just to play games mm -hmm. but we're mm -hmm. also like their time is valuable my time is valuable k's time time is more valuable than all of us put together and um we're all working together for charity so like go out like like for your own tables for our tables for any cause that you care about whether you have money or not go 
ask for the money. And it seems weird, it seems uncomfortable, but going, hey, give, give, me, give me your money. Give, like, it feels like a stick up, but make that also, extra step. But have a plan, like, yeah, and be able be to say, like, we are doing this at this time. Like, mm -hmm. you know, if you're reaching out to people to say, hey, I can't pay you, but will you donate your time? Tell them who's gonna yep. be at the table. Tell them what's it like. Give a nice little herb has an incredible blog about so what good. I need to know yes. as a TTR. Like, go read Herb's thing. We've David and I think have covered all of his advice at different points across multiple episodes. Herb has it mm -hmm. in text. You can just go yep. read it and check That's it right. out. Uh, Cipher says there's some people where they don't even get that courtesy, but mm -hmm. they will get what they deserve. Yeah. And yes, ask people. <laughs> here's the thing. This is if I have learned anything about being in this space, ask, but don't expect because yeah. no one is entitled to, you, you are not entitled to anyone's time. I don't right. care how good your charity is. I don't care how cool your game is. No one owes you. Yep. And go in recognizing that people have different approaches, right? Mm -hmm. We have a lot of neurodivergent people. We have a lot of, of have very different schedules. We even have some people that might just be jerks, right? You might find out that somebody that you're asking to do something for you, is kind of a jerk, right? I mean, that's You might have also been really valid. excited to work with someone and then it turns out they're a scumbag after they're you've a jerk. done so. Oh man, I'm, I'm still personally wounded about that for, you, you might, for at least you might have two people. To, you might have to rescind invitations sometimes, right? Um, okay. And I think that like going in, like Kay said, with the understanding that nobody owes you, right? It's hard when someone does mm -hmm. right? Always gotta like, ask. It Always is, gotta ask. Have to ask, but like, also have to be prepared for no response. I, I don't think that there's a lot of conversation about that. Etiquette means different things to different people. On LinkedIn, no one ever replies ever, right? Mm -hmm. you, you might send five inquiries and get a single response. Very similar in TTRPG Twitter sometimes, right? People miss things, right? They they log in, they they have ADHD, they they log into Twitter to do something, they forget that you asked them something and they never replied. They go back mm -hmm. to it two weeks later and are like, hey, sorry, right? Like, yeah, and, and try don't take to it recognize. personal, people are busy. Try, um, try not to take it personal. It's very difficult to not take that personally. And um, also, I know firsthand. Um, you, don't but, know, you don't know how we, someone, won't say who, right? Mm -hmm. But someone asked, uh, filled out our our form to be on the table talk show, right? And they were like, I want to come on and I want to talk. And they gave me the rundown. I'm like, great, I adore you. Let's heck it go. And so I sent them an email in January and said, yes, we want to have you on. Here's, you know, this date, this date, or this entire month. Take your pick. This is what we have open. Didn't get a reply. Waited until the end of February. And I said, hey, I know you're busy. You're a bigger deal than me. Um, I just want to make sure this didn't get lost in your inbox. And if um, you don't reply, I'm going to consider it done, right? I'm going to consider it cool. No worries, no hard feels. Because you never know. Like, again, we found out that someone that someone was talking a lot of crap about people mm. that they worked with on the regs. So it's like, I don't know if someone has said something about me and I'm not going to put someone in a situation of like, why don't you want to play with Why are you? Right. Like, if someone doesn't want to play with me, I'm sad, but that's their business. And sure. if they are kind enough to tell me why they don't want to play with me, I'll try to fix my shit, but they don't mm -hmm. owe me that, right? Yeah. So they didn't hear anything. Fine. But then they agreed to be at one of these tables. So I'm like, hey, I don't know if this got lost in spam or whatever, but I did invite you and you don't even have to reply to this if it's awkward, but if you want to come on, this is the title of you want to find it. And they were like, it was in my spam. Google took it from me. <laughs> Gmail <laughs> hit it. And at the same time, someone had reached out to me through uh, Twitter. Twitter doesn't tell me when I have DMs anymore. Yeah, unfortunately. I don't get enough. So if I miss. don't check it on the regs, like I will leave people hanging and unread. And it's not because I'm not interested or super excited. I don't want to collab with these people. This fully functional website just doesn't tell me. Fully functional. <laughs> yeah all like that that exactly and i think it is our first it is our first kind of uh instinct i think a lot of times soon that we have done. i think that when that happens that takes away from the next time you might be able to ask 
right? You're gonna be a little shyer next time. And sometimes when you ask someone something, they're just cool and they're like, yeah, they might see it on the right day. They might see it on the wrong day and be like, I'm sorry, no. And then come back and invite you to something, right? Mm -hmm. Like you don't know where it could go. <laughs> Literally anything can happen. So I think that like going in with that set of expectations and not have any, even with sponsors, right? Like there were sponsors that I reached out to that I was just like, these people aren't gonna get And then I was like, oh shit. <laughs> Actually, it's fine. Um, yeah. There are still people that were like, "Hey, I'm not sure. Can I get back to you? Right? Is it gonna? Is, is it? Is there? A, is there a deadline that you need an answer by? Right? Mm -hmm. um, any of that? Like, it's really wonderful to be able to facilitate something because you raise money, organization, um, and just try to make that your focus when you go into this. Try to have as many backup plans. Try to have as many backup players. Right? Like, if anybody drops from the games that I have this month. I have a handful of people that I think I might be able to ask to fill the seat. Otherwise, we just go live and have a great time. And I ask that person for next time, right? Like trying to kind of go with the is important because all of us are just people. As famous yep. as some of us are, right? As well known as some of us are, still people, right? I people at the top of the Hollywood food chain, also still people. They have bad days. Winona Ryder was shoplifted. No, shoplifted. She was having a bad day. Things happen. <laughs> I have, right? I have, I am the wrong color to have that kind of bad day, and I have never had a day that bad. <laughs> look, there are look. privileges, right? <laughs> when, but when, like, when we talk about privilege, that's this, this, this the kind of thing we're talking. Anyway, yeah, okay, as you were, as you were saying. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just wanted to say, like, now obviously this is not necessarily true of like Brennan Lee Mulligan or mm. of Rhea Iyengard, right? But the number of bigger named that I have reached out to, and I'm talking like bigger in our community, right? Again, I'm not talking critical role. I'm not talking like, the, but the number of streamers where I'm like, good gods, this person is so fucking cool and they've done such cool things. I'm going to ask and they're going to ignore me who are like, oh yeah, thanks. I never get asked to be on things. And I'm like, what? And I had someone tell me, now look, y'all, I'm. let me be clear. I'm not a big deal. Our channel is small, right? Yeah, but it's- I've had, I've had people be like, well, I was afraid to ask you because, like, you're such a big deal. And I'm like, I'm... so, like, do not be afraid to ask. But again, go in without expectations. And y'all, I asked. Celebrity, the number of celebrities where I'm like, hey, I should I should ask this person. And Kay is like, you are not asking this AAA celebrity. This person you that should. made $1.7 million on their last I'll movie. You should. I'll do it. I'll do it. Kay knows. To come on our channel. They will. They I will. will. I'll not because <laughs> not because they 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 won't, but because I don't want to see their stupid faces on our on our. And I was like, okay, oh oh oh, oh okay. I'm getting y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm getting y'all, Joe Manganiello. And I'm and getting... and turns out Kay was right 100 percent of the time. Um and <laughs> and also like as a as a watcher as a viewer, like and as, and like I said before, I don't have money, but. Every time we run a charity game, I go and shake the trees. I go and tell all my friends, I'm like, yo, hey, I'm doing this thing. Um, if you don't show up and put $50 in this, then I will be on your... And look, I'm not... A... Boxing gloves. Right. You know your friends. You know how to talk to them. But, like, the number of times where I've seen... Because, like, I have a couple of friends who, like, don't want a lot of attention. And the number of times where I've been like, hey, this, this anonymous donation... Is was was that you, buddy? And they're like, yeah, I, I threw some bucks at it, and like, it's five bucks, it's ten bucks, it's fifty bucks, um, and, or more. Um, by the way, set aside a hundred dollars so that you could be at Candace's table. Um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go over that. And yes, yeah, Cypher says we really, really got to put stop putting people on pedestals. That's how we end up with these folks. Power. Yeah, like yep. And again, as someone who, I feel like we all did it from our youth. You know who. Who had someone on a pedestal and then realized, oh, this is a bad person. Like mm -hmm. that hurts for you too. To be all people. Sorry, what you were saying, David. I'm trying to think of like what childhood celebrity I had that ended up being a terrible person. Y'all, because... I fucking loved Hercules. I knew it wasn't a good show. It was just happy <laughs> escapism, and I didn't even like Kevin Hercules. Sorbo all down. I didn't even like Kevin Sorbo's character. I liked Aeolus. And listen, we're not going to talk lives. about Andromeda really in because that's Star Trek adjacent, and that's a whole <laughs> Star Trek rabbit hole we're not going to go down. Gene, I mean, Gene I'm Lonberry here today, so 
like, you can Gene, if you want. Gene Roddenberry's kind of kind of a shitty dude, but also did like like, and that's that's another important thing that we need to like recognize is that like no person is 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 pure, and this whole purity test and like people people are complex. They do shitty things. Like um, Dr. Seuss, uh, Albert Einstein, Martin Luther King Jr. all uh, cheated on their wives. Um, whenever someone talks to me about like. Um, people who were convicted for crimes and how they should just walk around with a scarlet letter the rest of their life and i'm like hey if you sold a little heroin back in the day and you ran the numbers and did all like this illegal stuff um should that person be locked up for the rest of their life and they're like yeah of course they are and i'm like then you wouldn't have malcolm x like like people are allowed to make state make mistakes and then come come back from them there's some there are some mistakes that i will never forgive somebody for um, but we're not going to get into that on a hot mic. Also, there are certain things that are not mistakes. Right. Right. There are certain things that you do that is not a mistake. That was a deliberate choice, which you then go, oopsie poopsie, I made an oopsie. And it's like, mm -hmm. no, that's not that. That's not how that works. Mm -hmm. um, and, and so, like, when it comes to... Eh, and, and I think part of it is because I grew up and like Candace can can identify this and, and Kay can identify with this as well, where protagonists and like centered celebrities from our youths did not represent us. And so we're accustomed to not necessarily putting ourselves in the shoes of whoever. That's why I love horror movies. Because I get to watch people do things that I would never, ever, 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 yeah. ever, ever. Do. I, well, <laughs> Reverend End Times just said, "No one makes it to forty without having played both hero and villain." Which and, well, and both Aaron and Cipher, do what you got to do. Thank you for even if you're just lurking. Thank you for being here. We appreciate. It. Do what yes, you got to do. Much. Take care of yourselves. Food, calls, all that good stuff. I've been a man these past forty years. Um. Uh, and I've been a, a, a against my better judgment and my best efforts. I've been a filthy cishet this whole time. <laughs> and I guarantee you, you get get somebody on the phone, whether it is like an old priest or a nun or uh, a lady or someone in the past that are like, you know, David was a punk bitch. And, and I'm like, and I'd be like, well, yeah, yes, I was. I was out of line. I was out of pocket. accountability. <laughs> um, <laughs> And, you know, it circles back to, like, you know, who you have at your table, who you talk to, who you have in your circle. Like, if if you're like, well, I'm not a transphobe, but, like, my four friends are all transphobes, then it's like, mm, that says that says a lot about you. Yes, sir. And I'm, I'm fortunate that I have great friends where I could point to someone like Kay, and I'm like, if Kay, like, if I get out of pocket, Kay is right there, and she's going to pick up the phone and call somebody to deal with me. Um, and the fact that I've made it this long without needing that, that, that happened, I think speaks a lot volumes for me. Like I may be a man, but uh, a very angry Eastern European hasn't shown up on my front doorstep to beat the paste out of me, to knock the <laughs> sonic rings directly out of my spirit. <laughs> and I will, circling back just a little bit, I'm also gonna say like, there have been people that I reached out to that I'm like, this person's way above my pay grade. They have mm. no business being on this channel. Mm -hmm. I've talked and to I had the whole pitch. <laughs> exactly. I've done the whole pitch, right? I had everything. Because when I, especially if, when I reach out to anyone, I try to show the respect of like, here's what we have planned. Here's who is confirmed. Here's who we are inviting or going to invite. Here's the time. Here's the expectations that we'll be. You're planning this number of breaks. Like I do it all so that it's all there and buttoned up so that they don't have to do back and forth. Like, I want to make it as easy for them to say yes or no as possible. And one incredible person, the reply was, fuck it, why not? And I'm like, great. Thank you, Kato. Yes. <laughs> like, like, just I'll that, like, take it. like, again, I have no idea who you are. I have no idea, but you know what? <laughs> fuck it, why not? Like, if, if it, fuck it, sure. And I'm like, great, fuck it, ship it is good enough. <laughs> yeah, that's high praise. Me. That's exactly. all I need. <laughs> that's, that's an open door. Um, so yes, we are, um, we are nearing the end of our time together. We're not quite there yet. Candace, is there anything about Magnificent Pride that you have not gotten to articulate yes. yet or that you would like to reiterate? 
Yes, I would like to uh, reiterate we have four fantastic tables coming up this June 6th, 13th, 20th, the 27th. The 6th is M. Jazzy Hands, Kenny O. Vargas, running us through some D&D. On the 13th, we're going to have Nicotine, fantastic and famous Twitch streamer. She actually hosted TwitchCon last year. She's going to be bringing us her original game, Islas, grim, dark horror, kind of sci-fi punk thing going on. It's really so super cool. Then on the 20th, you've got this guy doing you up some monster hearts. And on the 27th, we've got Captain Krail, Robin of the Atomless, mastermind of the Atomless, uh, running us through some Guys in Chairs by Super Dylan. Um, so fantastic games all month long, fantastic GMs all month long. I'm very lucky. Then on the 19th, we are going to have Jeremy Cobb of Three Black Halflings running us through some Paradox Perfect. Uh, you will see flyers for all of these coming up very soon. We want us to try and get these first two tables, get some momentum going, and then we're going to throw everything else out there for everybody to see. Um, but what, what you will be able to donate for. If you donate, you will be able to get uh, entered to win a giveaway. We have several for each game. Um, we are still hearing back from sponsors, so I'm sure that you'll see announcements coming soon. These, the sponsors that we have thus far are Idol Champions, Palace Pixels, um, Die Hard Dice, and Critical Hit Cookies. Uh, so come by to support all of those folks and get some um, whether they are Num Num or Mathrox or delicious shirts, whatever it is, uh, come by. You are advised um, what, not to eat them? I mean, you'll if want you, to. Though. If you do eat them, we did not tell you to do so and are not liable <laughs> for for lawsuits because yeah. you can't Candy, get blood from know? a stone. I got like six bucks, okay? For your teeth, for your teeth specifically. <laughs> um, so, redeems. This might change from table to table, um, but the redeems for this Thursday, so the day after tomorrow, uh, we will have for $10 a plus one to any roll. You can specify who you like plus one to go. For $20, you get a re-roll for anyone that you like. That includes the gym. I shouldn't say that. This is charity. So I'm you can, I mean, you can speak. <laughs> if, uh, generally, the way we've done it is that if you don't specify, it can kind of go into a party pool. But yeah. if you specify, it can go to the GM. Worst and, you know, the, the way that I see it, if you want to specify that the GM also gets a plus one, I don't see why that... Thank you so much for this subscription, Reverend End Times. I'm feeling I'm very feeling very stingy, but also it's charity and Pride Month and Juneteenth. I guess I. There's some uh, there's some GMs that I would not trust with that, but I feel like Uhenyo. That's true. That's true. Yeah, you he couldn't trust me with that just, because I would ruin just, everyone's day. He deserves That's to have true. a little more. He deserves to have. Some. He does as a true. Also, he's okay. gonna have to put up with my character too. <laughs> That's very true. Um, you always bring the joy and the fun, though, Kay. Even I'm when you're so just excited to get to play Brandon. I'm so <laughs> excited. For $30, there's a Wheel of Impressions. So if you've ever wanted someone to do uh, their TTRPG character in a really fucking stupid voice, uh, they will have to pick <laughs> an impression out of the bucket and then stick to that for as long as they can. Uh, for $45, you'll get a setting change for five minutes. Um, that can be left up to the GM's discretion. However, if you're like, hey, I would really like the next couple of minutes of this game to take place in your mom's butt. Kenio might be cool with that. Who knows? Pitch it. Let's see what happens. Uh, for $60, you get a help or a hindrance, as defined by the GM. For $75, you get a player monologue where someone will mojo jojo the fuck out of their PTRPG character for you. And then for $100, you can have a seat at a table that I will stream offline. I will make a list of games and settings that I would be interested in running. And uh, you can sign up for the table that you And then depending on how, how, how free my awesome friends are, if the table is not full, then maybe you might have some special guests playing. Uh, we'll see. Um, Domo came in the chat is asking how much of a donation to get a parody written and performed by Ken mm. you know what if somebody donates $150 I will write them a custom parody about whatever they want <gasps> I will $150 I'm gonna need somebody to lend me $150 make it $160 <laughs> anything, anything you want but whatever. they already did a Jolene it's true it's true I did do some parodies for ponies we'll Excellent. have uh well, there's no, there's no parodies. Rides were 
your <laughs> stuff. I don't think I have any. Anyway, uh, it's because all the songs are gay because they're by me. Um, <laughs> uh, so for Paradox Perfect, there are some different redeems for Monster Hearts and Islas that will be different redeems. I'm going to work with Robin uh, on the redeems for the 27th as well. So that's just a taste of what there is uh, in store for y'all to choose from. It'll be um, something that we also post about. Um, and yeah, I couldn't be uh, more honored to have pride. Um, I feel very lucky to have this platform that Chaotic Pulse allowed me to have, as well as the friendship of these wonderful humans. Um, thank you for for them. Coming back, tell your friends. Um, this is honestly the show that I look forward to. I guess so. Come to this show. So, yeah, I hope that the rest of you that have come today, this year, I am you and back and bring because it vibes our men. We cannot thank you enough, Candace. As um, even even before my news of the week, uh, you know, David had been through a bit. I've been going through a bit. Um, so it was kind of like we got to do a pride thing. What are we going to do for pride? It's it's pride. It's important. We we do it every year. We gotta. And Candace is like, I want to come in and do all of the things. We're like, great. It's all you. You are. What? How can we help? In fact, at a couple points, I'm like, can't just let me help. <laughs> I was like, you can help at the end. Give me a moment. <laughs> you can help, I promise. There's a whole bunch of shit that I don't know how to do. And I'm going to need you to do it. I'm going to need you to come <laughs> in and bring me your expertise. because I don't know. Um, and now we're here. And it's been great. And I'm so excited. And I haven't been stressed out really at all, which is awesome. Because the last time I tried to do one of these things, I cried like seven times. So <laughs> yeah, but that was an outside in. Holy shit. Yeah, that was, is this uh, what it's like to wait. just feel support? My goodness. Who would have thought? Uh, but yes, Candace, genuinely, thank you for all of your work. Thank you for putting trust in us and letting us, like, help, letting us run production on stories. Thank you for giving me the table. I'm so excited to play with you, you and then so watch excited. all these other incredible tables. And um, yeah, I. Uh, Kato asked, is the donation link live? Yes, it is. I dropped it uh, in chat. It is tiltify at damn fear slash magnificent dash pride. Does anyone have any closing questions, final thoughts? David, any last minute rants you want to fit in? None of my rants are ever last minute. They you want to give us first minute. No, um, I want to and you're going to hear me say this a lot over the next month. But I want to thank everybody involved, like Candice, obviously. Uh, Kay, as I've said multiple times, Kay puts in more time off, off stream than you see them do on stream by like three or four times minimum. Like this has been- Streaming isn't easy, y'all. This has been a, a second full-time job for, for Kay for a very long time. Um, everyone who's made time to play because like there are some charity games where you just like show up 15 minutes before you do the thing and then you're out um everything is a little more involved just because of systems and getting to to meet people and like the safety the, the safety protocols that we have here at chaotic wholesome etc cetera, etc cetera. so people have had to make extra time to participate in our games um and just reading the like scheduling in like the different chats is is people really trying to fit this in because they really want to do it um and i really appreciate them i appreciate everybody who ever shows up to um chaotic wholesome presents uh the the raiders who stuck around thank you the people who are always here who make this um you know worth doing like I remember when Kay was building a channel for, for someone else and it would be four hours of Kay and I, like like Kay would be talking and I would be typing in chat to one another and then like one creepy guy would show up, be creepy, get banned, and then we would, it would just be me and Kay for another like 30 hours over the course of like six or seven streams. So whether it is with us or with anyone else you watch, like you are what make this a thing that's worth doing 
and we we appreciate you and also we appreciate all of you people who are going to go and ask your friends for money for charity stuff it doesn't have to be for our charity stuff though ours should come first but you're gonna go ask your friends for money go ask your friends for money remember when i said hey you gotta you gotta ask, ask this is me this is me saying you who is watching this go find somebody who you think might have money and people who you know don't have money and go ask them for money make them tell you no and when they tell you no be polite well be polite and, and, or, anyway. be polite and kind at the start and then when they tell you no continue to be polite and kind because there are too many fake motherfuckers out here who will be nice to you until you tell them no i see you men i've seen you before i will see you again and we'll see you on the battlefield and always remember we live in a capitalistic hellscape right that one um so yes thank you so much dm jazzy hands for the shout out earlier today Thank you to the transmissions for the raid. Thank you, Herb, for the raid. Thank you, Cypher of Tear, for the resub. Uh, seven months, so appreciated. And thank you, Reverend End Times, for uh, subscri for subscribing. <laughs> LOL, damn, yes. Um, again, we wouldn't do this show if folks didn't show up and if folks didn't tell us, hey, I learned a thing or hey, I had fun. So thank you for letting us for giving us an excuse to come here and I get to hang out with my best friend and then amazing guests and other best friends like Candace. So thank you all. Like, this is a treat. Um, again, things might be a little bit weird on the channel going forward. There might be a lot of random pop-up streams because I am now unemployed and maybe I'm going to do co-working. Maybe I'm going to just crawl into Stardew Valley and not come out. And look, yeah. there's Stardew Valley that you play on stream and there's Stardew Valley that you play curled up on the couch with your cat, like clutched to your chest against his will. That's um, what I'm doing. Yeah, the, that's the, that's the where I've been. The <laughs> run is never streamed because words are said <laughs> yeah. that you can't say into a hot mic. In multiple Here's the languages. Thing. I think, actually, I think we should do a, a subscriber goal or a Patreon <laughs> goal of David streams a ruined peer life. Yeah, we're some Coral Island. Yes. Into it. I, one of my, uh, so, uh, for those of y'all who don't know, my entire office got shut down this week. They killed the entire office. Um, and we had, you know, it was, oh, there's some things I'm not going to say live, but it was an incredibly awesome, diverse, and creative group of people. Like, it was truly New York in every sense. And um, we were talking about Stardew Valley, like, coping and, like, Stardew Valley. And I'd said, also, like, someone was like, I, I don't I don't know that I want to get sucked back into Stardew. Like I want something. I'm like, go play Coral Island. And they're like, what is that? I'm like, it's 3D Stardew. And one of the like pulled up his phone and was like, this is an Indonesian developer. I'm gonna buy it right now because he's also Indonesian. And I'm uh -huh. like, you can wait until you have a job, but also if you can afford it. <laughs> <laughs> like that moment of like, do you need to buy it right now? Because you might. Because yes. look, listen, yeah. you we might. all have needs when we're unemployed. There's needs. Absolutely. Um, so yeah, things might be weird, but find us every Tuesday right here for the Table Talk Show. Wednesdays, we're going to be streaming Baldur's Gate this month because we have Magnificent Pride on Thursdays. This coming Wednesday, tomorrow, is going to be a little bit weird because we've got some session zeros, so we're not going to be at our usual time, but guess who doesn't have to punch a clock? So we'll be starting early, probably, so that we can bounce. And hey, it happens. This is kind of the risk you take being in the game industry. And this is not my first layoff, so, you know. But thank you. I appreciate If I seem a little manic over the next few months, that's why. <laughs> um, and then, yes, join us every Thursday in June for Magnificent Pride. We've got the four amazing tables. Thank you so much to our sponsors, Die Hard Dice, uh, Idol Champions of the Forgotten Realms, Paleless Pixels, and Critical Hit Cookies. We are so grateful. Um, you're going to see a Die Hard Dice affiliate link coming up below us here soon, too. I just have to make the pretty graphic. Um, and like then I said, does a lot of work. Friday, David, Friday's David believes he's going to be streaming something. Yeah, um, Friday where I am. Uh, hey, Kato, Friday, I'm playing another Crab's Treasure. So I, uh, are you or were you doing so? Look, I'm going to be playing Final Fantasy XIV at some point for a stretch of time. I have not decided when I'm going to do that because spoons are limited. 
Um, and, but no, um, you will see Final Fantasy fourteen, and there are also like some people I want to like coordinate with because there are people who play the game who are like, we're going to do a thing together, and I'm like, okay, you're going to do that with me on stream or else, <laughs> and they're like, okay, you big bully. Um, Ooh, Alaria's in for Final Fantasy. Right, um, and so, so I can so I can put the another cab's treasure back into yep. this roll. Okay. Yep. I made the cutest another crab's treasure. Oh man, it's so it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> Look, one of one of the best things, one of the best things about streaming with Kay, about doing all of Keanu Colson pre presents the whole thing, is I'm like, hey, I'm thinking about streaming this game, th this game, and then like, 15 minutes later, 45 seconds later, the most hilarious graphic of that game shows up. <laughs> <laughs> in my chat and I'm like well now I'm absolutely playing it <laughs> and that happened but for another crab's treasure like that's that's I, it's going down I stole a lot of it from uh Eugenio Stephen Joy's painting pirate like they did these things and I'm like you know what we have art of David and I we can do that. um <laughs> but yes uh so David's gonna be streaming something Friday believe candlestick capers is coming out later this month where you can find yes. myself candace and b zelda playing yes. uh, an awesome little awesome little adventure uh that i had a lot of fun with um yeah swords it, of the serpentine y'all candlestick crime so good you know one of those things where oops we accidentally got ourselves a sequel <laughs> no regrets no regrets we're a crack um, team you're not gonna want to miss it so yes, come by Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, like holy cats. And then on um, Juneteenth, June the 19th, for our special secret fifth table that you all are now in on the secret. And um, upcoming, uh, I can verb, wow. We have some upcoming guests for the talk show who are going to be on talking about what they do as well as their charity games. We're going to have both Robin and Jeremy. Yes, Jeremy. Y'all, yep. it's been a day. Uh, my HR person cried at me today. So, um, That's not your uh, job. We're gonna have both Robin and Jeremy. She was also off, so <laughs> it, it wasn't it wasn't the person doing the layoff. It was the person. <laughs> okay, uh, we'll we'll right. have both Robin and Jeremy here talking about uh, their games as well as the Atomless, Three Black Halflings, and the other awesome stuff that they're up to. So come on by. It's gonna be an awesome, awesome June. Uh, thank you for going on this journey with us. And Candace, thank you so much for being here today, for being here all this month, for all the work that you put in, for putting yourself out there to even get these tables together. You are seen, you are appreciated, you are awesome. Thank you, Jason Domo, uh, Domo came for making all of the incredible banners and graphics. Uh, mm. If you need graphics for TTRPGs, for books, for layouts, for whatever, Jason is your person, go ping them. Um, Candace, any final thoughts before we, before we run away? Yeah. Number one, if you hire Jason for things, recognize that while they are a man-shaped person of white person descent, their partner is me. So the money is going to a queer, gender fluid, black, trans individual who really needs money. So <laughs> yeah. pay me by Candace, paying them. Candace just mugs Jason. <laughs> Jason Jason's like, oh man, I have, and then, and then a hand comes in. <laughs> It's the, the hardest. Doom. It's the hardest thing because people are like looking for an art director that's really good, and I'm like, man, my partner's really fucking good. Like their design is, sick. but they're like, I really want to like just you know support a, a queer person of color, and I'm like, but you will, <laughs> you will. How do you think I afford my life? Please, <laughs> I don't give, have a job. Hire give, him. <laughs> give Jason work so that Candace can get makeup to keep these awesome Please. looks going. Because we low. need this. We live for this. We eat when Candace <laughs> shows you. up like this. I try. Um, and I'll be at Gen Con. So I also need money for that. And I might be at Big Bag Con if I can get a scholarship. So I'll need money. Um, and yeah, you can we, find We need at... money, y'all. Give it. Yes, if if you're it. not giving it directly to me for existing, give it to Candace. <laughs> Please. Um, I will do wonderful things with it. And I will thank you with a smile. Um, I can be found every other Saturday. So this coming Saturday, uh, I don't know if we're actually going to do it this Saturday. It'll be, it'll either be this Saturday or two Saturdays from now on what we do in the shallows on, uh, twitch.e forward slash tihi. 
Um, that is a queer 5e parrot campaign that I run. Um, that I, I don't run that. I could never <laughs> run that. I don't know how to run D&D. My other partner, Matihi, runs it. And so please go ahead. Uh, I, you will see me at that table. Um, then you can also find me over a very at... sexy snake. So sexy. I really try. Uh, Drea Painter. Um, you can find me, as Kay said, with Kay on Candlestick Crimes, which is a sided stories, uh, original podcast that'll be coming out probably this month. Uh, you can also hear me on Blue Light, which is my Moonlight podcast. You can also see me in Castleton. I think my first Castleton episode's coming out soon. Uh, that is like a crazy, wild Hunger Games meets Bridgerton Battle Royale thing that a bunch of people are in. Uh, check that out if you want to. Um, I am also going to be in some other things that are coming out this month. Pride uh, and some anniversary companies. So please definitely check out my story. Um, the thing that I am the most excited about that is also coming out and has not been announced, but I'm going to tell you about it. I want you to foam at the mouth. Um, there is a show called All In For Estia with Mimics and Matt, uh, Mimics and Mimics and Misfits Matt in that, uh, as well as Frequency, which when that comes out, will not be able to get me to shut the fuck up. Uh, that's with, that is with uh, with Robin oh, and Candlestick uh, Crimes comes out the nineteenth. Says Twelve Sided heck yeah. Stories. Heck so yes. double double Candace on June double Candace on Juneteenth. Yep, and it and should also be no other way day after k birthday on juneteenth as well so no, yeah that's a big two days if you like me and k trust um yeah the the frequency is frequencies is gonna you're not gonna you're not gonna be able to get me to shut the fuck up about that one uh that is myself dylan uh captain crail i don't know if i'm supposed to tell everybody else this is about secret also but i can tell you that those three people and it's good and it's awesome and so when that comes out i will shout it from the rooftops like this um, shout out to Wes in chat. Hello. Yes. I hope you are healing well. We love you. Um, yes. And thank you all for being here. I really hope that I see uh, in chat. And please remember to and, uh, like and subscribe everything. And read like everything Candace does. They are great. Um, again, thank you so much, Candace. Thank you, chat. Thank you to, I, I run through this, but I'm going to go through it again because we are grateful. Uh, thank you, Eugenio, for the shout out earlier. Thank you to the transmissions and to Herb for the raid. Thank you to Cypher of Tear for the resub and to Reverend End Times for the sub. David, who the heck is we raiding? Uh, we are raiding Nicotine, playing yeah! Nicotine 5. Let me All hit right. the refresh button to make sure. Enjoy her purple still... RP, y'all. She is so yes. funny. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, so, yes, thank you all again. Um, we hope to see you every Thursday and Wednesday in June. As always, uh, hit us up on socials if you have a topic you'd like us to cover. If you have, you know, if you want to be on the show, we have a form that's on our socials that you could fill it out. We are getting through it slowly because it is just David and I. But hey, I'm no longer employed, so it's probably going to be easier for me to get through a backlog. Um, bye. The silver bye. Line. Join our Patreon. It is free. Uh, if nothing else, you will be sure to get your um, get your notifications and updates that way. Check out Domo Kame, uh, who does incredible graphic design. And as always, be kind to yourself, be excellent to others. Go and ask the people that you are too afraid to ask, but also remember that nobody owes you their time. And be awesome. Happy Pride, y'all. Pride!